This is going to be a quick video about my update of uh, Ethos to 1.6. Right now, my radio is in version... So the firmware version is 1.4.17 uh, and the internal module is 2.2.6. So it's fairly old. Um, I also have here my TDR10 with a servo. Um, I just grabbed this from from a different plane um, just to keep it here in the desk simple and then I'll put it back into the plane. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to my ethos suite, suite settings. I'm going to make sure that server location is set to GitHub. And I'm going to download the latest version that is 1.6.0 right now. I'm going to download. Will take a few minutes. And I'm going to install the update. First, I need to exit the application. All right, so we are now on Ethos Suite 1.6.0, so that's step number one. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, connect the transmitter to my laptop via the USB cable. And I'm going to set this to Ethos Suite. So now we have here information about my transmitter in Ethos. And as we can see, a lot of things are out of date, um, both on the firmware version, SD card, as well as the RF module. Before touching anything, the first thing I'm going to do, and everybody should always do, is uh, backup. So in this case, I'm going to do backup pre 1.6.0 update. This will take some time. All right, we're done with the backup. So now we can see this is the backup file. And now we're ready to start update. So the first thing we're gonna go through the RF module update. I'm gonna get the latest one, 301. I'm gonna flash the module. Now we see we have here flash internal module on the screen. That's done. So this is an interesting problem because the transmitter is showing the internal module is on 3.0.1. However, Ethos Suite sees the version as 2.2.6. Let's see what happens if we try updating Ethos to 1.6. Interesting. So even though the transmitter actually has 3.0.1, because Ethos doesn't see that way, um, it doesn't let us install 1.6. I wonder if this is related to having a very old version of Ethos. Let's try upgrading to 1.5.19 as a middle step and see if that helps us. We're now 1.5.19, and now Ethos Suite does see the correct version of the internal RF module 3.0.1. That's kind of weird, that seems like a bug to me, um, but good to know. If you run into this, now you know how to 
get past that roadblock. And I think now maybe we can continue with the update to 1.6.0. Let's see if this works now. It looks like now we can go ahead and do the 1.6.0 update. Okay, it looks like we are up to date. So if we go to read information, we have firmware is 1.6.0, bootloader is up to date, module version is up to date, 3.0.1. Now let's take a look at um, our receiver firmware. So if we go to the download center, so let's go to receivers, TD series, TDR10, and we're going to download the latest version 3.0.1 which matches with the RF module I'm gonna unzip and these are all the different tandem receivers I'm gonna copy the whole thing into my Radio. So I have here firmware receiver folder. That's done. Going back to the suite. And now I'm going to eject drives to safely remove the USB cable. Idle, not idle. All right. So now we're going to do the Receiver update. I've got the firmware receiver, my 3.0.1 TD folder, 10 channel, and we have here TDR10. We're going to try to do the update via OTA. We'll see if it works because the receiver is in a pretty old version, and when you jump, between versions that are this far apart, sometimes the OTA doesn't work, but we'll give it a try. Find. So now we're just gonna power on the receiver. Find. Let's flash in. Great, that worked. Let's go. Now, just to be super safe, I'm going to take a look at the RX. We're gonna clear it. I'm gonna re Wait. register, just to make sure everything is working as expected. So I'm gonna press the button, power on, while keeping the button pressed. Register. Now remove power, we're going to bind, so I'm going to click on RX1, bind. and we're going to power on this time without holding the button. Bind. And we're blinking, that looks promising. I'm going to plug in a servo. Things are looking good. You can see we have telemetry. And if we go to our information, receiver 1, TDR10, firmware is on 3.0.1, which matches with our internal version 3.0.1. And ethos firmware version is 1.6.0. So at this point, we are done with the update. One thing I will show is um, if the OTA update hadn't worked, I'll show you uh, what the process would be to do it via wire. Um, so when you bought your receiver, you likely received a cable that looks like, like this. This is what we will be using. 
um, if the OTA uh, firmware update had failed or wasn't working for whatever reason. Uh, and the process is actually pretty similar. So we're gonna go to our file manager. We're gonna find that same file. And the difference is that instead of using flash rx by internal OTA, we'll be doing flash external device. So to do that, we're gonna connect the black, red, and yellow cables on the back of the transmitter. So I'm gonna do black from the right, then red on the middle, that's the power, and yellow is the SBUS. And that's the one that is on the side of the notch. So starting from the notch, from the left, it's gonna be yellow, red, and black. The blue we don't need for this. And the other side would be connected to the receiver. Right there. Um, the other thing that is usually um, important is remove as many of the servers as you can from the receiver. Um, this is because otherwise the transmitter might not be able to give power to all those devices connected to the, to the receiver and that might cause some problems. So if you want to be safe, remove everything from the receiver. And now we can go to file manager, receiver, find our new firmware file. And we'll just click flash external device and it will do the, the update for you there. So at this point we are done with the base update. So we have our RF module, our um, ethos firmware and our receiver firmware. They're all up to date to the latest. The one thing that uh, for some people is remaining is updating the Lua scripts they are using. Um, so right now, if we go to, let's connect my radio again to the computer. Uh, let's go to it a suite. So if I look at the scripts folder, um, you can see I have here a lot of different Lua scripts that I've used um, in the past. So we have RB35 uh, as well as um, calibration and stabilized. Um, settings for the stabilized receivers from FreeSky. These Lua scripts are now obsolete and they have moved to this new section called Lua Library. So you have here the stabilizer config for the stabilized receivers. You have the RB35. So all these things that you see here in the Lua Library, this is going to be the new way of managing them. And what you want to do is make sure you use them this way. To avoid confusion, uh, what I'm going to do is remove the old scripts here. So I would be removing uh, these RSX folders as well as the RB35. And actually, I'm going to remove everything here. Um, some of these things are not in the Lua library. For example, the TDR18 or the RDT from Lior, from Zabionix. Um, these are not part of the Lua library. But it would be a good idea to make sure that you are using the very latest version. Um, as you can see, this one hasn't been updated. Um, I haven't updated it since uh, January, so almost a year ago. Uh, so I'm going to remove everything here. Most of these things that I want are going to be in the Lua library, and the ones that are not, I will just reinstall them from GitHub or wherever I got them from. So in this case, I'm removing the scripts from here. And I'm going to instead install them from the Lua library. So all right, so we have the stabilizer config installed. Now I'm going to eject drives, disconnect the USB cable. And now let's take a look at how we access that stabilized configuration. So we go to system, device config, 
and you can find here the new ways of handling this. So you would go to receivers, stabilizer config, and this would be the um, new way of accessing that um, stabilizer configuration Lua script. Much more straightforward than before. Uh, right now, I'm not connected to any stabilized receiver. Um, I might be making a new video about setting up a stabilized receiver. Um, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. And I think that pretty much concludes the basics of this uh, Ethos 1.6 update. Um, some hiccups uh, when you're coming from a very old version, uh, but it seems like the fix is pretty straightforward. Um, the other thing that I know some people have run into is problems when they're using an SD card uh, that is very large. Uh, I believe that the max is 32 gigs. If you have an SD card uh, with more capacity than 32 gigabytes and it's not partition, you might run into problems. Uh, so the easiest fix there is uh, back up your files um, and just use a smaller SD card. If you have any questions about any of this, please let me know in the comments and I will try to help you out. Until the next video, happy flights!